Yes, that's my vagina. Yes. <laughs> What's up? How's it going? Hey. Good. How are you? We are just great. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm realizing maybe I should have peed before we started this, <laughs> but you know what? I'm a, big, I'm, a, I'm a big boy. I can hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Still to keep drinking. So welcome to the Lightweights. Um, we figured that uh, neither of us know that much about you. <laughs> So it's cool when we talk to people that we don't really know because we can just be like, tell us all about yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, it's all about you anyway. I mean, sometimes we try to find ways to make it about us, but <laughs> that's not the best thing to yeah. do. <laughs> but we want to know about you. So the only things I really know about you, I know that you and your husband like both got your pro cards in like your respective sports like in the same week. Yeah, within three days. That's crazy. Your husband does yeah. boxing, right? Yes, he does men's physique. So men's physique. nice, awesome. And then, uh, and you got your pro card this past uh, nationals, October. right? Yep. Sick. And then you're getting ready for USS nationals now. So I have my first pro comp in less than week, two weeks now, um, and then two weeks after that is USS nationals. Cool. Um, I. I think I just tore my bicep tendon on Saturday. Oh That's what I, so, I, oh, I wanted to ask about I did that. See that. Yeah. What do you yeah, mean? So we'll see. Think? Well, I <laughs> like mean, people, okay. <laughs> I definitely felt it. I definitely heard it, but oh. I haven't had like an MRI. Oh my God. Um, I was, if I put my finger on this side, which is the good one, I can definitely feel the tendon. And on here, definitely not so much. So. Is there any bruising? No. That's good. Yeah, yeah, there's no bruising. It did swell, but it swelled like down in the top upper forearm. Okay. Well, okay. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> so, you know what? My fingers are crossed for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so um, my only concern is that I was going to try to max my axle clean and jerk, which is what I was doing when I injured it. So, hmm. so far, we're just going to go for it. We're just going to, we're just going to compete in anyway. Fuck yeah. All right. Are you just gonna like take the next two weeks basically off and see what happens? Um, I so I've taken the last what, three four days off. I'm gonna go to the gym tonight and do like legs, and I got like a big swing to put it in, mostly just as a reminder not to use it. Okay. Yeah. Smart. No. Yeah. Um, four days off out of the gym for you is probably crazy, right? I know you train. Yeah. Like every I mean, day. I did went and did stair stepper, but. <laughs> <laughs> and actually this morning I taught cycling. So I've been there, but just cardio. Okay, cool. Can, can, can we start at the beginning? And, <laughs> uh, well, we never do intros with these things. We don't yeah. fucking care about that. But, <laughs> but like, well, it's funny because you're like, I don't know anything about you. And then you name like four yeah, things. I do know a few things. <laughs> so, I mean, let, let's do the classic thing that everybody does is like, you know, who are you? Like, you know, I don't know what class are you in? What, what, have, what have you won? What have you done? How'd you get into strongman? Because, you know, uh, I, I apologize. I totally forgot to send you that little deck that we send people. But sort of the thing we want to do with this show is, um, you know, let people know that weight classes are a thing. Because mm -hmm. um, most people think it's just like gigantic people doing crazy stuff. And we think, you know, the smaller people are much more impressive. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. You know, so I, I like to hear how, how people got into it because I didn't get into it until I was 33 because I didn't realize it was there for me. Right. Um, yeah. So I am 37 now. I got into Strongman like two years ago. Like I'm, an, I'm a newbie in the sport. Um, I started out, I would say like back in the day doing like CrossFit and then I did some bodybuilding and back to CrossFit, did powerlifting. I've done like go rock challenges and Spartan races. Like I just sign up for anything and everything. Like somebody asked me to do something and I jump in. So I had seen some strongman competitions locally and they just looked fun. Um, but they never aligned with my schedule. And so finally one showed up and on like a Wednesday, I was like, Hey, I should sign up for this. Like, let's try this. And it was on Saturday. 
so I found somebody local that showed me 30 minutes on like how to use a log sure. and I practiced the log and I just showed up at the competition. So each event I was like, Hey, what do I do here? Like, how do I hold it? Where do I hold it? Like, what do I do? What are the rules? And I won that one as a novice Damn. and the coach or the guy putting on came to me and said, Hey, there's another one. Are you going to do it? I'm like, sure. What is it? Like, tell me like, and he's like, Oh, it's this weekend. And it's the static monster. I'm like, Okay. So I showed up at that. And again, like I hadn't been training any of it and I just showed up and I ended up placing in the top 10. So with like my second competition, never trained, I qualified for static monster. So that kind of just threw me into it. And then the coach at the time, that same guy was like, you're going to become pro and I'm going to coach you. I'm like, okay, like that's, that's do it. So that was kind of the start of it. And from then I just, I went to my nationals that first year um, and won my second year. Damn. The first year you placed pretty, that was uh, 2019, right? I remember you placed mm -hmm. like in the top 10 in that as well, right? Yeah, I got, I think six maybe. Um, and the funny thing is that I was considering not going because I looked at the weights and I was like, uh, I'm going to get crushed. Like I went to my coach and I was like, is there any reason that I should actually go? And then I went and I got six. So it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I would say that's pretty good for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think it's really cool when people just sign up for strongman shows, having no idea what they are. Because I mean, that I think that's like originally what strongman was like mm -hmm. when World Strongest Man came out. There are all these stories about it was just like these big strong guys and gyms and they got invited to it and they'd all stand around a log. I mean, have you ever seen the original log press was standing the log up straight and rolling it down onto mm -hmm. you and then pressing it. Right. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, they probably had no leg drive when they did it either. So there was only like 275 pounds or something right. for those guys. But yeah, I always, I get a little, well, not jealous, but I think it's really rad when, when people do that because you just have to, fucking figure it out and it sounds like you did a ton of other stuff too like you're, you did spartan races all this other you're clearly athletic and to look at you CrossFit like, shoulders right now, you don't look like a newbie to me <laughs> <laughs> um, i think crossfit really helps because in a crossfit competition you don't always know the events yeah. like you might have an idea but you normally show up and then they say hey here's what you're going to do and so that's what it reminded me of like a lot of the events like when I do events, I use a lot of like hip drive and like a lot of things that I learned from CrossFit. Yeah. Um, that was just my basis. So that's what it reminded me of. So I'm like, Hey, let's try it. it. looks fun. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think people like you that are just probably somewhat naturally athletic, you, you can see them in the gym. Like it almost looks like they're going to hurt themselves, but what they're doing is like using intuition to like get the thing done, but they're just not skilled in the, the, the the technique yet yeah um and like some one person might look at them and be like oh my god they're gonna hurt themselves and i see it and i'm like yeah, <laughs> they're gonna be good <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so is this uh is this now kind of do you think at least in the foreseeable future your uh your thing like is like are you most motivated to really excel in strong women yeah i was thinking i was thinking the same thing if you've done so many things is this right. a step in the journey or like have you found something this is definitely my thing. I can't say for I can't say forever. Um, <laughs> I can't. So I definitely focused on it for right now. Um, I've talked about like getting through this year and then maybe taking a little break. I honestly don't like to get huge. Um, like I would, I've talked about maybe doing like another bodybuilding show and just kind of like dieting everything back down. Um, Cause I prefer to stay small and lean. Like, I don't know. Um, but I have more fun with a strong man. Like for me, I just like to go to the gym and play. And so if I can just go and be like, Hey, what's that? How do I do it? Can I do it? And just play. That's, that's how I enjoyed lifting. Yeah. Yeah. You're uh, it's your husband, right? Bodybuilding. He does bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, I think that's the real psycho shit. That's like, I mean, that's, <laughs> I'm always, I'm so impressed by people who are like great at bodybuilding because just the mental fortitude it takes Right. to do what they need to do in the gym and then the diet side of things like shit, it's 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 crazy yeah, if, if i have a program that's like like off season or just like if it's not if it doesn't have some intensity or something fun in it i just get so bored so fast and so hard for me to stick to it powerlifting 
I yeah. hate powerlifting. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty rough. I did like a powerlifting block, what, earlier this year? Or when was it? I don't remember. Like, I, I took a long time off. Last, last year when, you, when you were building the, right, when you finished building, building the gym. gym. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I took a bunch of time off to build a gym. And then I was like, let me do a powerlifting block because, uh, you know, that would be a nice, easy way to get back into lifting. And yeah, mm -hmm. it was like mind numbing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I look at it and it literally every week was exactly the same. Right. And there's only three movements. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so what are your, uh, what are your goals in Strongman then? Like what, you know, ultimately what, what would you like to do before? I don't know I have like long-term ones, my short-term ones. So, I mean, they kind of got displaced this week, depending on how my bicep turns out. But um, I was, I'm hoping to win um, the next, my first pro competition and then win USS Nationals. And then I just say, I want to hang at OSG. <laughs> like, yeah. If I can just hang, like, I'll be good. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the only person to, the only woman in the lightweight division anyways to ever win both Nationals in the same year, I think is Bangma. So you would be the second person ever to do that, I believe. That would be cool. Um, I don't, is it considered the same year if it's? I think it's like, Sure. Well, it's within the same 12 months <laughs> yeah because uss didn't happen last year because i was gonna do it last year but it didn't happen. yeah we'll just say it's the same year because yeah you know. so you yeah. can be at 64 right uh what, yeah. what, do you, what do you normally walk around at do you do a big cut so i'm normally like 148 so i don't do kilos sorry <laughs> i can't math <laughs> um i'm normally like 148 pounds Okay. One forty point eight. Okay, so you got a yeah. one forty eight to one forty. Yeah. One thirty two for USS. One thirty two oh. for USS. So that one is rough for me. But it's yeah. rough. That's like me making one forty. What is the strongman corporation? It's one forty in strongman corporation, it and it's one thirty two in USS. That's so funny because for me it's one eighty one in USS. Right. Lower. Five in strongman corporation. Oh, so that's so it's like yeah, it's the, the reverse. Yeah. So like I've done I've done the USS cut only twice. Um, then last time, yeah, you just sit in the sauna for hours, and then you drink a gallon of water, and you still don't pee because your body is just absorbing. Oh yeah, because you're so dehydrated. Yeah. I think I say we get rid of them both. Get rid of fucking USS. Get rid of Strongman Corporation. I mean, I don't have the answer, but put it all together. <laughs> it was, at least the weight classes could be the same, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, I don't think that would ever happen. There's a happen. lot of speculation about why they're not the same. Yeah, oh, I've, got a, I've got a feeling they're not allowed to be the same. Right. Okay. Yeah, there's no probably thing. some... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, just go. I'm just kidding, go. On. go. Um, yeah, there's a lot of... I heard a lot of different stories about why maybe they're not the same and why they can't be the same. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, whatever. It's pretty funny to, like, lose a federation in a divorce. <laughs> like, have that funny as a... Thing. I mean, I'm, somebody's probably going to comment, so there's no what happened, but I don't, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Nice. So there's a Max Axel in the pro show. What are the rest of the events? It's Christina's show, right? Iron yeah, show. so I'm really bad about this. Like, I heard one of your other um, videos, and you guys were talking about, like, the OSG events, and I was like, oh, really? I didn't know that. Like, you can wear a, <laughs> you can wear a deadlift suit? Yeah. So I am terrible about knowing the events. Um, there well, I is... think most promoters are terrible about you have to like there, dig yeah. into you have to dig into a facebook thread and then find one comment and then it right. replies in that comment yeah, that the answers great. are in like <laughs> yeah. um well, so max axel for sure yep clean and jerk there is a keg medley like a keg overhead press um max reps um max stone that one's also like a qualifying one and car deadlift and farmers with two turns so 150 feet farmers that's the new you know that's how like cool. every couple of years there's like a an event that like promoters get a hard on for I oh like, like it was press medley for a while yeah I it's farmers with turns right now it's like right. i hate farmers with turns farmers with turns <laughs> bag throws and throws yeah there you go if i never had oh yeah the same bag throws are kind of new this year too huh yeah, yeah everybody everybody wants to do them i mean they're fine they're just yeah. not interesting to me <laughs> yeah i mean you know what i think they like about it it's super easy to reset and it goes through so fast yeah like true. bang 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 okay put them back bang bang like it's mm -hmm. so easy mm -hmm. yeah but, you know and i guess like pretty cheap to 
for equipment. Yeah. Buying equipment. Oh yeah. Doesn't take much space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's almost, it's like, it's, it's almost like it's for the promoter. <laughs> that way. Um, <laughs> nice. So, and then, I mean, I guess really the only other thing that I know about you is that you have two kids. I think three kids. So, I mean, I have two, my husband has one. So between the two of us, you guys three. have three kids. Yeah. So you, and you work full-time jobs. So you have like a, a bunch of, of kids, to you have a job, you also <laughs> teach cycling and you also are a rock star athlete. <laughs> yeah. So that sums it up. That's about, that's about it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you have tons of free time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't sleep. I drink lots of coffee. Oh no. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I guess, you know, that's probably been your life for a long time, but, and I'm sure that's like your normal. Like I remember mm -hmm. when I was working two jobs and going to grad school and training, it just felt normal to me. Right. But like, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are looking at you from the outside and like, how on earth does she manage all of these things? So for me, it's really just having like a set schedule. So I, I mean, we have kids, but we only have them half the time. So I know on the days that we don't have kids, I can spend two and a half hours, three hours, whatever at the gym that night and it's fine. But then the days we do have kids, it's, I have to get up extra early and fit it in in the morning. Um, so it's just every Monday and Tuesday are nights, every Wednesday is rest, every Thursday, Friday morning. Like I just have a set schedule and that's how, that's the only way I can, cause I also teach the kids, like the kids are doing power lifting. So they do those classes twice a week in the garage with us. So it's, it's all just having a very, very set schedule. Like just good time management. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um, working full time, but I can work from home if I want to, or I can go into the office if I want to. So I have that flexibility. Yeah, that's nice. Um, and you guys have a really awesome gym in your new house, right? We do. We don't ever use it. <laughs> so I, we like the gym. We like the atmosphere. We like just people being around and we, that's our social time. So we have it, we use it like once a month for ourselves and otherwise we're just training other people in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess if there's God forbid another pandemic shutdown. We're set. Yeah. Be fine. Yeah. Yep. Is that, did you guys have a gym in your house before that or is that what prompted you to build that? Um, we had it in our other house. It wasn't all set up all nice, but we had the stuff. So when everything shut down, we had it. We had a few friends actually using it with us, but we also have friends that own a gym. So we were still going to the gym, the whole shutdown. So we didn't, <laughs> we didn't ever have to convert to our, our home gym. So Cool. That's a good system. I have a yep. friend that owns a gym also. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um you want to ask some of our questions yeah i don't have them on me you ask the question i don't have them on me either i, I think i have them memorized <laughs> though all right uh well, the, the first easy one um super easy uh what, what's your favorite uh memory of strongman um winning uss nationals <laughs> so, so yeah when you went into that did like you, you were feeling good looking good like you knew you were gonna win or was it sort of like who fucking knows and it was a big shot right. or it was kind of like I always wonder, you know, like some people are super confident and some people like are not. I was, I was pretty confident at least that I would place like top three. Yeah. Um, but I wasn't really sure beyond that because there are so many new faces and names that I had never seen. Or I mean, that's how most of the competitions are. I'm so new that I don't really know people. Um, that's probably, that's so, probably better because if you know them, you start stalking them and thinking about what they're doing and shit. But if you just right. fucking do your thing that's Just probably trying to, so I was pretty confident going in that I'd get top top three but my goal obviously was to win um so after day one I, I was feeling pretty good nice so um favorite event in strongman it could be like a single event an imaginary event something you've seen and never done a whole oh, I should make one up yeah answer it however, <laughs> however. <laughs> um anything that requires technique um, I am not good at like just static strength. Like you can blow me out of the water with deadlifts all day long. Like my deadlifts are not great, but if I can use my hips and get, do a jerk. Um, so I really like like finger fingers or okay. yeah. kegs. Um, I enjoy stones, anything that I can kind of put some athletic kind of technique into. Nice. 
single fingers. They have a lot. Remember last weekend? I was like, I never did these. I've never done one. They're never. No, I like them a lot. They're my favorite. It seems like it'd be really fun. We were both at Clash last weekend. So yeah. We were like judging, the, and we were just both standing there, like I never did this, but this looks like fun. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, th- I know. Th- of course, I would say something shit like this, but it looks fucking easy. Yeah. Doesn't it? I mean, like, it definitely doesn't. It just doesn't walk look it up. Hard. Yeah. You just right. walk, walk it up fast. Yeah. Go yeah. faster. Just yeah. Just, just <laughs> like I watch people like, just go faster, man. Like why? Right. You tall? <laughs> I feel like <laughs> I'm not. I'm not good at overhead though, so I'd probably be terrible. It's probably at it. definitely an advantage to be tall. I feel like there are certain. Uh, events I'm like, well, if you're tall, that would definitely yeah. help. Yeah. Well, because yeah. the taller you are, the further away the you leverage are, you have, uh, yeah, to push it over. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. But part of the hard part is also cleaning it. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. It like. Really like heavy. Yeah, but if you're short and stubby, you could like just keep that one elbow extended and get the other one and like extend with the shoulder, you know, and like instead of like, I think I don't fucking know. I don't know. (laughs) Well, we've never done it. We've never done it. (laughs) Hopefully, there we'll have one eventually. I don't actually. I already know everything I'm doing for the next year and a half, and there's no finger finger. So yes, year and a half. That's some planning for the next year. Well, I mean, OSG is the only thing I'm doing this year, and then. Mm Uh, I was already invited to Clash next year, so okay. that's, that's everything I'm there doing. Okay. Uh, I'm like, I, you, whenever I see you, I'm like, Carly is a maniac because I've <laughs> you so many competitions. We're like, <laughs> you can be all the time and I can be never. <laughs> right. So I'm there's like, a competition the week after nationals. And I was like, hmm, like I couldn't train for it, but can I just show up and do it? Yeah, you're sure. in I, I did that um, when I went to Australia. So I went to Australia for Static Monster mm-hmm. and flew home. What is it? Like a 36 hour flight. And I landed on a Friday night at like 7 or 8 p.m. And I got up the next morning and I competed at a local competition the next morning. Like, <laughs> I remember um, sure. <laughs> even like, so even Strongman Corporation Nationals last year when you won, I remember seeing you like, at your husband's competition and then like doing a water cut on the road driving across the country to weigh i was like this woman is crazy <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah so i feel like yeah you're just insane i'm sure a lot of people are thinking that too so i what everything that you do is wildly impressive to me because you just do so much all the time where like i'm like so laid back i'm like i just want to sleep like 82 percent of the year and then like a very small portion go as hard as i can yeah so i want something every weekend like i want to sign up for something do something we were last year we were rucking like every other weekend Mm -hmm. where you'd like put a backpack on and we'd go walk just mostly just walk um like 13 miles and it would just trash my body but i loved it like (laughs) just sign me up for stuff Oh it doesn't God. surprise me that you like bodybuilding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't like to diet though. Like I like to, I'm pretty strict with my diet, but as far as like actually like cutting, like I'm cutting right now and I'm a baby. Like I hate dieting. Yeah. Yeah. That's not fun. I know about that too. <laughs> yeah. uh, speaking of diet, one of our questions that we ask everyone, oh, yeah. what is your, if you have one go to competition meal, like whether it's before you compete or after, after you compete, do you have anything that you're like, this is what I get every time? Um, if I am doing a, like a refeed in the morning, it's normally pancakes and egg whites. If it's a nighttime, it's going to be a burger with a sweet potato fries. It has to be with sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries. <laughs> <laughs> like I always call ahead of time and make sure they have sweet potato fries. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Nice. Just egg whites, huh? Yes. Is that the bodybuilder? Um, shining so I eat that a lot now, even on my cut. Like I'll just do like low carb um, pancakes. Mm-hmm. But when I'm trying to refeed, I'm wanting the carbs and the protein, but not, I don't really need the fats necessarily. So gotcha. I always just do egg oh, whites. Make a little bit more room. Yeah. And, just and then I cover it in syrup and you can't really taste egg whites. So you, you didn't mention the syrup. Yes. <laughs> syrup on the egg whites. Yes interesting Man, move that sounds nice yeah that's that's uh i would definitely do that i uh one time had like a, a photo shoot i am not a model let's just say 
So of course, like my diet coach, I was like, can you just tell me like what I have to do to like look the, as good as I could look for right. this? Yeah, just stop drinking water for two days. Yeah, <laughs> no. So he had me like just do like a, you know, cut carbs for a couple of days or whatever. And then he had me like carb up, which this is mm-hmm. probably totally more of a bodybuilding thing. Yeah. But, like it was like, all right, we're going to deplete you. I'd do like some little depletion workouts. And then I had to like carb up and he was like, he had me eat rice with maple syrup in it <laughs> which at first i was like yeah. i don't know that sounds that sounds kind of weird and then i like ate it and i immediately texted him and i was like this is the most delicious <laughs> thing ever yeah. <laughs> so that might be my new move just like rice with maple syrup. you know what else is good <laughs> grits with straight sugar like grits with straight up sugar on it. really oh my god it's incredible <laughs> i mean it's fucking it's gross but it's, it's so good it's never perfect. had grits yeah, not many people have. Yeah, if you're yeah, not I from the it. South. Are you, are you from, I don't know. you guys live in Idaho, right? Are you from Idaho? I am from Idaho. Um, and then my husband's from Brooklyn. Oh, Brooklyn, shit. He's from here, where we are? Yeah. Oh, shit. Nice. Have you guys been here? Have you visited? Do you, do you know what neighborhood? I mean, if I heard it, yes, but no. <laughs> Shut <laughs> off my head. No. Right in Brooklyn? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what for um, his mom still lives there, and so she just was she was visiting us last week. But we haven't been there for probably a year and a half, you know, with everything. Yeah, well, next time you go, next time you guys you have head to us up. Hang, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't ever leave. <laughs> I leave probably more than you do. Yeah. Um, wow, that's really cool. How did he end up in Idaho? Um, his dad moved here, and so he came out here when he was in high school or middle school. Or something. He's been here a long time. All right, come nice. On. Come on, nice. come on. You're, you're crazy. Come on. No matter whether we're, we're at my house or his house, there's always a dog trying to be on the just trying to get You guys are good at changing up the background, though. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for noticing. Yeah, thank you yeah. very much. For that. <laughs> we, had a, we actually did have a conversation about it. Yeah, we, we want to see different colors and different things. We were like, yeah. sometimes we should do it at my house, sometimes we should do it at your house. Yeah. We want to do it at the gym, but that place is so fucking loud. Yeah. Oh, right. There's always like music and shit playing in the background. Yeah. Is it open 24 hours? Can you do it like a late night one? It is open 24 hours, yeah. We could do a late night one, but it might be weird if we asked someone. But I'm <laughs> oh, tired. I like to go one. to bed early. Yeah. Uh, you you go, I think you go better even earlier than me. I go to bed at like at like nine. How much sleep do you get a night? So it's not it's not terrible. I go to bed 10, 10 30 and get up five. If I'm teaching cycling, I have to get up at four fifteen. Fuck. Because uh, you teach cycling at five. Right? At five, yeah. I've seen that on your stories. It, yeah. It's pretty brutal. It's wild. And I keep saying I keep trying to figure out like why I'm still teaching cycling. Like I do enough other stuff, I really don't need it, but I've been doing it for like twelve years, so I just keep doing it. Do you teach cycling at the same gym that you guys train at? We don't really train at a specific gym. We have three gym memberships. Oh, wow. So we just bounce around depending on what we want. So like, I would call like the one I train cycling at is like more of like a globo gym. So it has a little bit of everything. But then we have our, our strongman gym. And then there's one that's more, they have some strongman stuff and some powerlifting stuff. So we just kind of bounce around depending on what we're training. Do you guys train together usually or do you go your separate ways no yeah. hardly ever we used to like when i was doing bodybuilding yeah. um but he normally doesn't want to go to the gym i want to go to and he is normally training while i'm still working so it doesn't really happen anymore together that makes sense yeah i guess you can't really do too much of your training together anyways bodybuilding and you're doing stones and logs and shit right we used to like when i was doing bodybuilding but do you think your husband would ever want to do strongman so he tried it once like he went out he bought the logs he bought us both a log okay i think he lifted it once okay and <laughs> he was like ah uh, my back's not gonna take this um i'm not gonna do it like he told me he was gonna do a competition with me you know okay <laughs> so You're we like- have a log I, I mean it works now for osg i have a 12 inch log but yeah, yeah. the old the old 12 inch log for the women yeah. Yeah. He he does uh you said physique? Yeah, men's physique. So what's he like wait two ten? Right now he's about two fifteen. Okay. He'll probably get down to about two hundred for stage. Ah. So, <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> real proud of myself for that one. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, I had a question, but it's uh, it left my brain. It'll come back. I'll wait. Well, there, there's one more question that I ask everyone. Um, it's what I can, I, I need to like write it down because I never at, figure out exactly how to ask it, but what is something that will make you happy to do before you die? You know, I mean, it sounds almost like a dark kind of question, but it's sort of like, you know, we talk about strong men and lifting shit yeah. like outside of that or even within it, you know, it's like, what, I don't know what motivates you, like what drives you sort of what, what's like one thing that would be, I don't know, really nice for you. Uh, I just don't ever want to slow down. So I don't want to get old and just, you know, just not do things. My grandma, I think she's what, 89 and she rides horses and goes hunting and totally different side of like, I hate animals. So I'm not, I'm not on that side of the horses and stuff, but like our family just doesn't slow down. So if I can just live my life and just keep doing things, yeah, um, that'll make me happy. Awesome. Um, long-term, I would love to leave the state of Idaho and live in a big city. So that's kind of on our, our list, but we can't really do that until the kids are out of the house. Yeah. So more of a long-term thing. Cool. Nice. I like that answer. I feel like you can relate to that. What? I feel like you like, will never slow down. <laughs> oh, I'll never, yeah, I don't think I'll, oh, I don't know, man. Just it's the other day to... you were like, after Strongman, I'm going to be. A, a oh yeah. I, deci I decided, I decided after Strongman, I'm going to get, I'm going to get into slack lining and rock climbing. Oh, I saw you guys went last, like, yeah. last week or something. Yeah. I'm just, I'm way too heavy to be yeah. any good at any of it right now. I mean, I'm not heavy at all. But heavy. Too. Yeah. You're a lightweight, remember? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're a rock climber though. i mean rock climbers weigh like 110 pounds well i mean not that little the for girls. girls oh yeah. for sure yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah or those shows what are those shows where they have like all the events that you can do um some there's even a few strongman people that do them um like the gladiator show type things oh like titan games uh, yeah. yeah those would be fun to try too yeah yeah i well i really i i tried to sign up for they were having a a tryout for American Ninja Warrior. Yeah. And this is before I did Strongman. And I'm always, I've always been like, I don't know, I just watched the show and I'm like, dude, I'd be so fucking good at that. <laughs> I do, it just seems like something I could do. I was like, oh, what's easy. Um, That's what you thought about slacklining too until you got on the loser slackline. <laughs> okay. That was set up by a professional or an expert level. Okay. <laughs> so don't fucking talk shit. <laughs> no, but I tried to sign up for American Ninja Warrior and they want to like, they want some sort of, um, like story oh next story like what you know like where where's your pain and trauma right and, and i was watching the show and this guy was like they they told the story about how his girlfriend went uh hiking on a glacier with her dad and they fell into a, a fucking whatever ravine and died and he's like doing this for his girlfriend i was like jesus <laughs> You didn't like, have a story for your girlfriend. I do feel like <laughs> reality shows, though. Like it seems like every person has, like it's every opportunity to like talk about their like trauma. Sure. Right. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe it makes like a deeper story, but like, what about the story that like I would be awesome at? This? <laughs> <laughs> like that's a good one. That you know, it doesn't have to be like, yeah, my fucking well, my grandfather when he immigrated, like, uh, okay, mm -hmm. go jump over the fucking pretend lava you know like that's all it is <laughs> i feel like uh i feel like you'd be great at the titan games but Fuck like, that yeah. seems like something that would be right up your alley i think it'd be fun to try i don't know i don't know that i'd be great i don't know that i have like the finger skills for like rock climbing because a lot of them have a background of rock climbing but mm. i would at least have fun trying i feel like if Furman's big ass can do it then you yeah. can definitely do it for yeah. sure uh hey the rock she wants to be on the Titan Games. Just, yeah. you know, if you watch our video. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sign me up, sign me up. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Uh, I think that's, I don't have any. That was great. That's great. Do you have any Anything? people that you want to yeah. plug on the internet for our 100 followers? 100 <laughs> subscribers. Subscribers. Like, watch out. Perfect. Um, you know, your sponsors or whatever, yeah. whoever, whatever you want to talk about. Uh, my sponsors are UXO Supplements and Savage Babe Clothing. Um, that's who's. And then I've got my coach, Terry Ratty, my husband, and I lean on them both a lot. To, like when I get hurt and I'm like, hey, I'm good. They're the ones that try to tell me I can't work out and stuff. 
Nice. <laughs> I feel like that is so opposite of most people. Most people like they need to lean on people because you know they'd be like, "I'm broken. I can't do anything." And you like support. It's like you're good. You're fine. And you're like, "I'm fine. I want to lift weight." And your support is like, "Hold on. Slow Chill down. the fuck out. Yeah, yeah. Slow, Slow down. down. You're not going to the gym." <laughs> yes. Well, we'll, uh, we'll put all those people in the comments below or in yeah. the caption or the what the fuck it's called the do i we're terrible at this the thing. <laughs> but it'll be down there somewhere it'll be down under the video <laughs> yeah. that there um we'll put them down there it's really nice. been a pleasure yeah. getting to know you and Loved talk it. to you today we'll uh, see you at osg right we will see you at yes. osg i'll be there and uh, man, I'll be following you. I hope your biceps okay. And I'm excited to see you at USS Nationals and at Bangma Show. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, that's All it. All right. Thanks, guys. Cool. All right. It was a lot of fun. Bye. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. So it was my understanding that she was probably trying to do like the old trifecta win of like USS Strong Incorporation. OSG. Kiss. Good girl. Uh, yeah, I, I know. I remember we talked about that.